Next Zuma is Papa Lukamba. Did he may please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming from? Papa Lukamba. Hello. Thank you. Besides, greetings to you. And where are you zooming from? I'm zooming from Botswana, Papa. Botswana. Yes, sir. Bless you, bless you. Besides, greetings to you. And how may I help you? Amen, Papa. Um, first of all, I want to thank God. Uh, for your life, really, God is using you to change our lives, to change everything concerning us. May God bless you, ministry Amen. and your family. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. Um, I have um, a prayer request. I want you to pray for my family. In our family, there is nobody who is born again. It's only me. So Amen. I want God to change my family and Amen. bring salvation in my family. Amen. Amen. Uh, and I have a couple of um, uh, dreams. I don't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't Amen. Know you start, it's many dreams. A uh, lot. I'll just summarize for you. How many? Uh, the, the first one... First two, uh, I had a dream. Uh, How many dreams? Uh, I just picked uh, four. Oh, you picked? Hey. Yes. And you come with the dream. Uh. <laughs> I, I'll summarize. <laughs> okay. Amen. Um, uh, the first one, I, I saw myself, I was back uh, where I grew up. Hmm. But they... It's like I, I was um, passing, and I saw one man who used to work together. Mm. And, and I asked this man, what do you want here in this place? Because I don't expect to see you here. Mm. And he said, no, I'm here because um, there are people who, who found gas here. They have to drill gas. So I'm here for work. I'm looking for, for a job. But he's a retired man. Mm. Yes. And it's a surprise to me, or I didn't expect such kind of of mm. of a product could be found in our area. Yeah. Yes. Um. The other one is um. I, I saw a, an old house. Mm. This an old house is like it was a, used as a shop. Mm. And when I get this now, it's old. This is, is there is nothing. While I'm still inside the owner, I mean, the, yeah, the, the one who was using this house as a shop, she came and then she asked the, the, the daughter, what happened with my stock? Mm. It's like, there is nothing, what happens? Mm. And uh, later on, when we're still discussing, uh, I found in my dream that uh, this woman, she, she, she did a restocking. Now the shop is running again. Mm. So I was... I didn't understand what is happening. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, the last two or three I saw, these ones I saw myself. Actually, it's like I was with uh, you, Papa. And you were just looking at me like this and you didn't say anything. Mm. Uh, the second one um, is still I was with you. It's like you were, we were joining hands like this. Mm. And uh, the last one, um, I, 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 it's like I met you. When I met you, it's like I was a bit too excited. But you were, you wanted to say something to me that um, uh, it's like you wanted to give me some phone number so that whenever I have to phone you direct, the way I, it's like it was like that. Mm. And because I was too excited, I was busy on my knees. I was, it's like I was kissing you, uh, kissing you your shoes like that <laughs> so in the spirit we I'll do, the, in the spirit we sorry? have to know in the spirit as we yes sir. The Lord, as we we must learn you know there's paying attention in the physical and there's paying yeah. attention in the spirit ah. and in the spirit we can take it with one just one scripture let's say hebrews 12 Sins were surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Mm -hmm. Let us leave aside every weight and every hindrance.
and see Jesus. It's paying attention. And see Jesus because a hindrance means we pay attention to other things more than. And that's why now even the first dream likened unto others going back mm. home. God loves you. God is still with you. And paying attention. See Jesus. Now full meditations. Day and night. Full meditations focusing on him. And bring this thing to reality. And also you can mix it with today's teaching again. Yeah. Yes. It, it's for women. But you know it touches a woman. The church itself. Mm. The wife to Christ as well. With the promise that God has blessed us with. The Holy Spirit can come upon us. But paying attention in the Spirit. Gets to make the Holy Spirit. To fulfill every. Uh, or I can put it this way. It gets the Holy Spirit to fulfill every mission. Concerning the plan in us. And it fulfills it. By only taking what is from Christ and giving unto us, because who do we focus on? The one who gave the very Spirit. Mm. The very Spirit. So Amen. I'm just going to pray for you in this case, because focusing and this removes worry, that removes doubt, removes anger against issues in the family, people who fight, people who do whatever. Now, record of those wrongs. <laughs> yes, but when when I talk about anger, -ish, there was a time I, I went. Well, that's why I'm coming dead fast so that you can know where we're going now. Yes, I yes. When I come to anger, hindrance, you yeah. fail to pay attention. Exactly, exactly. You I lost fail. a lot because of yes, yes. yes. Fail. That's why I'm starting there so that you can understand where we're going. Because your questions, your dreams will also teach others. Mm. Now, when you come here, what is your hindrance? hindrance? Anger. That's true. You are Anger right. To mm. Jesus Christ. Mm. You know, paying attention and meditating and focus more on what God has blessed you with. It removes your sisters. It removes your brothers. It removes what they did. It removes everything. Mm. And in turn, you are ready to bless and pray for them. You are ready to bless and pray for them. And, and as you do that, you see God elevating and blessing you further. And this anger also buries your faith. That's true. Hmm. It buries your faith. That's why I want to explain this. That's why I'm coming slow so that you can get it. And all the dreams coming together, you'll understand everything now. Even those that you didn't mention. I'm just bringing everything together now. It buries one, your faith. Mm. You often get discouraged when you see things not happening the way they should. That's true. That's true. Often get discouraged. You often become anxious. That's true, sir. That's true. And when you serve God without pressure or being anxious, you, you, you're not bothered by anything. You're not bothered by... You're not bothered. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful to serve God without being bothered. Amen. But now that troubles you. Exactly. That troubles you. Exactly. That's true because last time when you you talking you were talking to me you said you you were concerned about my mind also that uh, mm. it's like I'm thinking too much I'm worried mm. that's that's true and uh, and that issue you of see, anger I'm, I'm trying to come slow mm -hmm. from where it starts so that you can get it now yes I'm just giving you time now so that you can get everything and be clear with what I'm saying now. Mm. Paying attention in the spirit has become paramount. It, 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 you know, it helps. It helps. It gives you peace. Mm. I, I know 
me i've gone through stuff where i can say if some people can go through what i can through you can kill yourself you can commit suicide <sighs> but now some of things came after i taught about offense i taught about the mind so when they happened i'm going to disappoint people that i taught i'm going to lose focus and it will be over with me 20 the year 2013 going to 14 i started prophesying no no just 2014 yeah 2013 going to 2014 I started prophesying and I said everything, but when they happen, and you know, you find yourself teaching about all oh, prophets, young, the world, and everything. but now when they happen to you, you already taught people about your friends, you already people about the mind, you already taught people about all these things that are coming against you, all of them together now. That's true. You already taught people about lives, about their personal lives, all things that are coming mm -hmm. to you. So mm -hmm. now you begin to say, you. Now, focusing on Christ helps. What will those people say about the one whom I focused on? What will they say about Christ who gave me these teachings? Living a life when you're not bothered, you don't care who is reputed, even when they say you're not of God. Because you're focused on Christ, He's helping you to see what is wrong there. And not Amen. undermine yourself. And that's how Paul trained Timothy. Don't look down upon yourself. Paul knew that Timothy will stand and many who will stand against him shall be the reputed. He knew. Amen. So to prove yourself to be a good minister, attention in the spirit. And that's how you know, even three months ago, I didn't say many stories, but I would see now people coming like the Kenneth Higgins, but he's not alone. He's one with many others. I'll give an example, Kenneth Higgins, John G. Lake, but being one person. John G. Lake, being one person, being one person, this is for you, being one person, being one person. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Being one person. Being one person. And I would look there, one person praying for people. But when I look, but who is this one? Is this Kenneth? Is this? Is this? Smith? Is this? No, one person. But more of the way people. And the one is people that see them falling down there with the power of the Holy Spirit. And now, Towards the end of this, someone comes and takes me and said, you, you're not going to be prayed with the crowd here. He's going to minister to you last, after I finish with everybody, he's going to minister to you. Without people. Let him finish with everybody in the church, let him go. He's going to be with you. And what came before, I'm with this other one. God shows me his character, his stature, before he could be mingled with the world. And God says, this is what I give you. I was with him spinning on the ground. Spinning, spinning, spinning. And that was, I was with him fresh the time he just finished fasting and prayer. And that's when God showed me that Moses comes to you. i give an example. He won't be with you like when he was angry. Now he's the divine. He's ministered to you like he's with me. And the other one came. That was last week. And he said to me, in fact, I met with him just when he moved from the pulpit. And when he moved from the pulpit, I greeted him, we greeted one another. And I began to tell him that I'm going on the pulpit now. That's where he was preaching. And he turned, he looked at me with joy, he was happy. He kissed me here, and the kiss was not mba, or he, he kissed me here. After kissing me, I was given a coin, a special coin. He took his coin from him and gave it to me and said, the Lord has promoted you. That's another level. And that's when he left the pulpit, I was going to, he said, the Lord has promoted you. 
I'm just encouraging you to help you. Amen. Amen, sir. Amen, Papa. And this part, I'm encouraging you with Aaron. Kenneth Hagen, Wiggles World, whatever mixed. You have a portion there, you. Hmm. You have a portion there. You have a portion. You have a portion there. You have a portion. Of which you need one thing to move and pay attention in the spirit. What disturbs you is anger. What disturbs you is a record of wrongs in your family. How they wronged you, what happened, and now you have to support you. you it's weight on you. That's why now I'm going slow because I told you before that you think yes. too much. Now I have to go slow today, I believe, to give you the whole story now. Amen. Amen. The portion of me there, I know I met with others, they gave me a lot of gifts. They gave me a lot of things. Things in the spirit that are still, I'm still saying. They are for the future, but God is going to manifest them even further. But now, your part, that's why I said, let me take you through me. Your part, that part where I met, it's Kenneth, and, and, and it's this one, G Lake, it's Brenham, it's Bren yeah, even Brenham, ha, ah, even Brenham was there. But one person, You have a portion there. It's you. It's you. You have a portion. May the Lord deliver you from anger. We command anger to go. Anger depart. Anger depart. Deep thinking. Get out. Deep thinking. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Anger out. Spirit operates your mind, your head, anger, get out! Get out! Get out, anger! Get out! Out of his system, out of his body, out of his temple. Get out! Hand of the Lord, Holy Spirit has come into you, taking out, taking out this evil. Anger, which buried your faith, which has caused backwardness. This leaves your body, your thoughts, your mind, your life. Like the Redeemer, you'll save your family from today. Like the Redeemer, you'll help them. As you're being elevated, you receive all that has come with the Holy Spirit upon your life. And I declare this gift upon you. I declare life. I declare life. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we thank you. He's your son. Thank you for mending and restoring him. In Jesus' name. Now you understand your portion. Yes, sir. Your portion now. That's why I'm saying, let me take you through my experiences and select your portion. Your portion is where they told me that you are not going to be prayed for with people, you. All those generals won, like con all the doctors of heaven being brought together, consolidated. Looking at them, and they said, no, you are not to be prayed for with everybody. They are ministering to the church, these people. But you, you are the last. They want to see. I, I would say they because I saw one person with many people. God loves you, and you will never have those headaches anymore. Amen. That's why I'm saying understand when God promotes you because you are now focusing. You remain focused. Like every year, I would get stuff September, I would get this. But now I'm surprised God some years will just come before the time he brings and they bring stuff to me. They bring, so focusing on him. Daily bread, you must, it's deeper than the way we pray. Give us today our daily bread. It's not only to eat. 
It's because of paying attention in the spirit. Daily. Daily. The Holy Spirit will take what is from him and give to you. So I'm saying now, because you say this, let me teach you. And I believe this, your teaching and asking about dreams will help others as well. You haven't told me other dreams, but check yeah. the dreams. Check what I told you today. That's true. Everything will come together. Amen. God has blessed you. Amen. God loves you. Tell your wife to look at you. Ah, you'll be ah, your wife. Ah, your wife. Leave it. Let's leave it. Well, let's leave it. It's done. <laughs> She's happy. Let's leave it. She's happy. Amen. She's happy now. Let's leave it. I, I'm happy because this issue of anger, <clears throat> it has troubled me a lot. Are you happy? Yes, Daddy, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm so happy. You I'm understand so happy. what I was saying to him concerning this issue, isn't it? Yes, you are telling the truth, Papa. God loves you guys. God loves your family. God loves Amen. your ministry. Amen. God loves you. God is blessing you. You'll see Amen. what you've never seen in your life. I'm not talking about, you know, ministry. In your life, what you've never seen happening. Amen. And your family will see what they've never seen in their family happening. It will start with you guys. Amen. Amen. What is with you? Go understand the issue of paying attention in the spirit. Amen. Anything that comes, try to give you. They try to take you away from the blessings. Mm. Yes, that's, that's true, true, Papa. That's true. They try to take you away from those blessings. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> that's true. That's true because hey, we are going through a uh, challenges after challenges. Right now we have uh, one guy, he has taken a uh, part of our land. So it's an issue which is ahead now in so almost in the uh, high court of land boards. Now don't worry, we pray today. Yes. You know the people I meet with, hey, hey. <laughs> ah, those ones, are, they are in heaven and I'm telling you, they, they, Amen. God has blessed them. Yeah, and God has used them in my personal yeah, life. Yeah. So I'm trying to show you how my journey is yeah. in visions and dreams. In, in who in in in, in a place <coughs> I meet, mm. you'll be shocked. Amen. And I took it. He gave me. He said, "Take That's some special coin, big." He said, "Take." I it. And I went the way he was preaching. Because he left where he was preaching, I was going there. Mm. So I want you to understand this mystery. Mm -hmm. God is with you. Amen. Don't worry about the land now. I spoke about the headache. I, I spoke about worrying. I spoke about anger. I want you. Yes. No. Now. Don't be bothered anymore. I'm not bothered. Amen. Me, I'm not bothered. I'll be honest with you. Whoever says whatever, whatever, I'm not bothered. Amen. For me to serve people, to feed them, you must not be bothered Amen. by anything so that you can feed them without your troubles. Now, people feed people with their troubles. And he said, cast your burdens unto me. Why should you go minister to people with burdens? It's clear now. Mm -hmm. God loves you. I pray for those court papers. I pray for those papers. I pray for every file that you have. I declare freedom and it is done. You've been blessed. You've been raised high above even that land. You are holding everything. You'll never lose. It's done. God loves you. Amen. 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 God loves you, family. God we is love you, Papa. Amen. And I love you. And I believe Amen. God is. A, that's why I'm saying, let me come slow just to give you the whole thing now. Hmm. I believe this is all that you needed. God loves you. <coughs> that's true, man of God. I, I, you touched everything because. 
one time uh, somebody said to me, okay, go away, nobody, <laughs> I will see who, who will help you in life. So, you don't have a gift. because, and he said, you don't have a gift. You, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I thank God for your life. You have accepted us um, when we were wandering, lost and rejected like that. So mm. one thank God for your life. God is so good. No, God is with you. There's no one Christ upon and they become a wasted material. God is Amen. given. Amen. There's no one Christ upon and they become a wasted material. That's true. God has blessed you. If you can have confidence in this, there's no one. Mm. There's no one. Amen. Now, when one begins to stand and say things against the new thing that God begins to reveal, I don't know. Amen. That's why I'm saying, I make use of my life. I went through deep, troubled waters. And I thank God for allowing that to happen. Amen. Amen. Because today I can teach about the pit that I was in. Mm -hmm. I can teach about Potiphar's house. Amen. I can teach about the mixed Arabians who sold me. Mm -hmm. I can teach about prison. Amen. Mountains are to be accepted. Because when they come, it's like you've been praying, God has never answered because He brought the mountain. Mm. No, learn how to climb and go the other side. Oh, yes. Climb and go the other side. Oh, yeah. Just learn to climb mm. and reach the other <sighs> side. Amen. Light shines on you, family. Mm. God loves you. I'm waiting for tangibilities of the glory that God has blessed you with and visibilities. You'll put signatures where you never thought you'd put your signatures. Amen. God loves you. Amen. Thank you so much. Bless you. Amen, Daddy. Amen, Daddy. Amen. I love, I love you, you so much. Love you too, family. God loves you. Amen. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you guys. Next Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our, our next Zuma is Mama Dora. Please unmute your mic and let us know where you are Zooming with us from. Ma'am Dora. Hello. Messiah's greetings, Papa. What's greetings to you? Yes, I am Dora. I'm Zooming from Buzza. Bless you. Thank you, Papa. Mm. Baby, last week I, I I was afraid to talk to you about the passing on of my father. And I ended up talking to one of the disciples and asking for permission to go to the funeral. No, and God, God is with and... you. Did you go? Yes, I did. So went. there's no need. He's your father. He's your father. Okay, Papa. Yeah, now, the, what, what bothers is that the, the, I don't know if it's normal for people to be like dying on the same date. Who and who died because on the same date? My mother died on the 12th, even though it was different months and days, but the date is it was the 12th. My brother also on the 12th, my father also on the 12th. So let's pray let's for you. Let's okay. pray for family. The word of the Lord locates a family who command this evil pattern of death to depart, evil pattern of death, evil plan of death, your darkness, you departed. The word of the Lord has come. You premature death, you get out of this family, you stronghold of the family, you get out, your darkness, you are no more. Every chain that has been used gets to be broken. Your darkness, you are no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Just relax. God is with you, God is with the family. Okay. The other thing they do is that the like the legal the legal issue that I have to tell them the, like the minimum the, to pay the minimum amount 
on the 31st of August, but I don't know how to, how I don't know how to go about it. I don't understand. For the legal people, they expect me to have paid to have paid by the 31st of of August. Did but you go to them? Did you go to them and talk to them concerning how you can do it? They called and said they are giving me up to month and to this month and to to get yeah, paid. go to them. Talk how you can talk with how you can do it. Don't just sit. Okay. Go to them. Okay. Sometimes you need to know when you step and you are a different material, you are not of the earth. Go speak to them and you will come back. Okay. And the other thing that is, I also want to thank you for, <laughs> for the correction that you gave me last time about how I was handling my family members as well as the relatives. And I have really seen that it did a lot of harm to them. Mm. The way so, we conduct ourselves really matters as Christians. We need to know how to deal with this. Remember your rule. When you are raised up and receive the Holy Spirit, you rule among your enemies. You need to know how to maneuver and rule correctly. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So they, they would be coming and at times like wanting to offer some assistance and I also used to turn them down. So I don't know whether I should be taking any like financial God is set you free now. Remember your advice correctly. Nothing will harm you. You can welcome when they help you. Okay, God. Mm. Thank you. And again, my, may you pray for my for my for my younger sister. I don't remember very well as to when the logo, the Lobola negotiations happened, but it's it's been it's been long. So, but after the negotiations, the people went for I would I don't know whether I would say for good or what. So it's been pending just like that. So what I don't know whether name? that it is who. Nchizi. Please? Nchizi. 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 Yeah, yeah, something like that. Nchizi. So the Lord locates your sister whom we are talking about. Holy Spirit, thank you for understanding. The word the Lord is upon your sister to set her free from this waiting. To set you free from this waiting or darkness departs the word the Lord locates her fiance to set them free, to give them life, to bring them together in love. Light shines and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. God is with you. You bring your testimonies. Bless you. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Next Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Michael. Please unmute your mic and let us know where you are zooming with us from. Michael. Greetings, my father. God's greetings to you, and how may I help you, Michael? Yes, firstly, Lord, um, I was excited, Father, today when you talked about Ketura, because I think for the last two years, I've been trying to find out about her. I Googled, I did everything, and then, yeah. Actually, for the last, last week, I even, there was a clip on YouTube I was about to watch, so I was just to prepare myself in in case it doesn't, it's not in line with what it's in the scripture. So you Google for the... <laughs> It was just like an interesting figure, and I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Mm. So no, that's, why, that's why we're saying she's the forgotten figure. She's a forgotten woman. Yes. Many don't know the mystery. The natural son was born in order to bring the fulfillment of the promise. Men are not aware of it. Mm -hmm. That's why you see when you go to Galatians, it's like it has been hidden. Yeah. So Ishmael was born for a purpose. Yes. We were all born slaves. <laughs> we were born slaves. <laughs> we were born slaves. So, if we change, what's happening? If we become obedient, what's happening? 
So I believe yeah. God, God, God will still take us further with this. I don't know how will, how will He give me next time, but I believe He's given us a lot today. Okay, please, yeah. I, I thank you, and I thank the Holy Spirit for revealing that. Um, my um, I have, a, I have, a, I have. A, it's a small, small, small and a challenge. But what happened is, um, my cousin who lives with me in the same yard, actually, their their aim is to try to kick me. I'm living in the house; they live in the back room. Their aim is to try to kick me out of the yard. So for the last few years, they've been trying, swearing at me, and trying to do everything. It 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 never worked. I wasn't moved because. Before my granny left and my mom passed away, they gave me the title deeds and I accommodated them and now they're trying to take me out. Um, Titles deeds are in whose name? They're still in my granny's name. However, when we're supposed to do to change ownership, well, due to poverty, we couldn't, we couldn't afford a conveyor. A so, yes. So, I, saw... I uh, the appointment was for title deed to go into his name. It was supposed to call, to go to my mom. Or to your mom. And, huh? Yeah, and my mom passed, so I was mm -hmm. left in the house. So uh, late after my mom's passing, to live in the yard, I had no problem, you know. But as time went on, then they started things started to be turning to worse because they they tried for for the it's almost 20 years now they've been trying to kick me out because uh, um my aunt who's my cousin's mom she's still alive but they live somewhere so they brought the cousin to come and live here and they claim in that because of she's the only surviving daughter of my granny then apparently everything must just belong to her you know she's claiming it because she's the surviving daughter but of my you read about the emotional part of fighting for these things ne? don't fall into i believe you were listening when i was telling others ne? yes yes yeah. um don't fall into that ne? and also you have all the evidence to show that it was your mom's and from your mom come to you you have all the evidence yes you can submit and use that if they really come hard on you mm. you can use that because you have all the evidence true 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 no. so make use of that and but i pray for you for the holy spirit to still lead you to do it correctly yes I'm going to pray for you. You've heard on how it can really affect. You get it now? Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, my father, the reason for me to, to, to zoom in today, actually, about two weeks ago, they also, um, she went and they um, up, applied for protection order against me. So we've been summoned to appear in, uh, at the court on the 7th of September. What happened for I, your protection order? Papa? What happened for the protection order to come out? Um, it's summons. It's not yet issued. It's summons. Um, she claims that I'm, I'm denying her electricity. And by virtue of that, I must move. So it wasn't a... For me, it's... It's, it's sure written there. So it's not a big thing. Um... Plus, um, I think I zoomed with one of the sons of the house, and then she gave me, um, he gave me the scripture Isaiah fifty four, um, chapter fifty four, verse seventy. Anyone who takes it to court, he'll be proven a, to be a liar. Hmm. So um, um, let me pray for this issue. Let me pray for this issue. Just trust God, no? Yeah. Let me pray for this issue. Just relax, no? The word of the Lord has come upon you. The word of the Lord has come upon your fire. The word of the Lord has gone ahead of you in that courtroom to speak on your behalf and to raise the standard. The word of the Lord has come to take over, to set you free. Issues of anger. Your darkness will come out. Issues of anger. Be uprooted. Issues of anger. Get out. Anger. That buries victory. 
We exhume victory which has been buried by anger. We exhume faith which has been buried by anger. Get out! Get out with every character. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out with every character. You come out with the roots. The Holy Spirit has come. <laughs> Jesus, comes, there's Jesus, there's Jesus finishing it all. It's my house. It's my house. It's my house. What? It's your house. Here's Jesus settling the matter in court. It's settled in heaven, therefore it's settled here on earth. And it is done. Finished. Go, it's over. It's over, go. Bless you. Thank you, thank you. Bless you. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Next Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Irene. Please unmute your mic and let us know where you are Zooming with us from. Irene. Irene. Let's ask Christians, my father. God's greetings to you. How are you, Papa? Wonderfully blessed, God. I'm zooming from Mayor's Park, Papa, in Pretoria. Bless you. Papa, I'm confirming um, prophecy for... Um, I forgot what the prophecy was for. But I manifested because I was vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> You're confirming the prophecy for what you don't know. What's what's wrong with you? I forgot, Papa. You you uh, you confirm what allergy. you don't know. Allergy, sorry, my brother. I'm mm. asking. Mother, father, al mother allergy, mother the children allergy. You confess. You manifested during the time, no? During mass prayer. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Okay. I was. Yeah. You were vomiting, no? Yes, Papa. Yeah, but how are you feeling after that? Um, I'm feeling okay, Papa, but I feel there's a, there's a pain. There's... You understood that it's a case, ne? Okay, yes, Papa, yes. While we're still explaining there, you understood, ne? The word of the Lord penetrates you to complete the good work begun in you. This is to complete and remove all those chains they get to remove broken, not as they are, but broken. They shall never return to you in Jesus' name. How are you feeling now on the bed? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, Papa. I feel like... Yeah. I want you to observe and then you, you, you have your testimonies. God bless you. It's my father. Thank you so much. Yeah, Papa, you understood, I yeah? The explanation, no? Yeah? Okay. Yes, Papa. I will yeah. also watch. Papa, I also have a prayer request for my for my niece. Her name is Babalo. Um, she, she, she. I once dreamt of her, um, like sitting, like kneeling down. On the floor and like performing things like Ngari Kitsa Madros or something, and um, or something like that, or some some witchcraft things that was in a dream. And after that, after a dream, I heard my sister saying she Babalo called my mom saying that she 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 was prophesied by somebody on the on the street saying she has to be a Sangoma. So I'm I'm asking for prayer for her, Baba. The word of the Lord locates Babalo. The word of the Lord locates Pavlos conscience. The word of the Lord locates Pavlos body. The word of the Lord locates Pavlos soul. All these belong to God and not to man. All these belong to God and not to witchcraft. Light shines upon Pavlo. All evil you come out of Pavlo. Your darkness you go. I declare they will fear Pavlo. They wouldn't want to associate with Pavlo. They wouldn't want to be with Pavlo. Pablo will be irritating to Sangomas. Pablo will be irritating in that initiation school. And it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Papa, last time. Oh, okay. Thank you, man. 
Last one, I'm asking for permission to go to, for um, a walk on this coming Sunday. Walk where? Fun walk in, in, in Union Building in Pretoria. On that one, go. Enjoy it. Thank you. Go Thank you. enjoy it. God loves you. My friend. Bless you, bless you. God loves you. Amen. Love it you. Bless you. Amen. Next Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Samuel. Please unmute your mic and let us know where you are zooming with us from. Next Zuma is who? Someone. Samuel. Bless you. Samuel. Samuel. Mrs. Greetings, Papa. What's greetings to you and how may we help you? Where are you zooming from? I'm zooming from Sushangu, Papa. Bless you. How may I help you? Papa, I love to confirm a few prophecies concerning the, the something that is holding the, the shoulders. Mm. And this thing, it's like it's living in, in, in my shoulder blade on, 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 the, on the left. And it's breathing like I could hear it. Breathing even yesterday. I, I forgot to, to, to mention it because I could feel it while we were conversing. I could feel it breathing on me and my mother had, has had something, a ball here. Do you feel it now? A little bit and even the, the legs, my legs are swollen and painful from the, from the thighs. Because you, you're also manifesting during the mass prayer, eh? Yes, Papa. Yeah, it all goes, it all departs. The word of the Lord penetrates your back, but the word of the Lord penetrates your legs, this evil. This is not your portion. The hand of God has entered your body. Every stranger mm -hmm. has been gripped by the hand of God. Mm -hmm. And the God pulls everything out. Mm -hmm. And the God pulls everything out. You. You. The hand of God pulls it out. The swelling of the legs, no, <laughs> not your portion. The heavy shoulders, no, not your portion. This evil comes out by the roots. Mm -hmm. By the roots. It's yeah. over. It's over. You depart. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you depart. Evil chain. You are not broken. Ancestor curse. Oh. Ancestor curse. You pull it out. And the mic. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 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 We pierce mm. the shoulders by the sword of the spirit. We pierce right in each and every leg by the sword of the spirit. Mm. And no more. Mm. And no more. What's happening now? Mm. What's happening now? It's, it's, something is pulling towards the ankle. Yeah. And then, and then the, the, the back, that thing that moves. I don't feel it, Pa. Amen. And on the legs? That's a thing on the legs? What on is it doing the angels, legs? Papa. Ooh. It's as if you know, my, my feet are numb and weak and, and tired, as if I was walking for a long time. Check how's the numbness, how's the weakness? Ooh. Mm, Papa, yo, it's, something is 
pulling out of the toes, Papa. Yeah, oh. pulling out. Yeah, it's living. It's living. Yo. Don't oh. worry, just don't go yo yo. We just say bye bye. <laughs> you know, sometimes things are going out of people. They go, you, you, that's say bye bye. It's over. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you. <sighs> What's happening now? Yeah. Just a little bit, Papa. It's subsiding. Bye-bye. It's over. Let me just say this on your behalf. Bye-bye. <laughs> over. Me, I don't want to go like you, you, like you. Bye-bye. It's over. How are you feeling now? <laughs> you... <laughs> you... <laughs> you... <laughs> you... <laughs> don't know the you. 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 <laughs> you. And the husband just looking, it just the husband gives moral support. You, you, when you go, you, you, the husband just you, you, you. waking the child up. <laughs> How are you feeling now? It's in Papa. I cannot explain. Huh? Papa. How are you feeling now? Oh, Papa, it's bye bye, Papa. It's bye bye, it's gone. Yeah, it's bye -bye. Hey, tell your husband, yes, it's bye bye. <laughs> yes, it's bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> uh, he makes himself a babysitter. The way he says, no, I'm taking care of the baby. I'm taking care of the baby. <laughs> Bless you guys. God is with you. You will send your testimonies. <laughs> and Papa, please uh, kindly pray for, for Job Correct, Papa. There is something on her anal hole that is eating her, and at the same time, she's losing weight, Papa. Is it? Yes. Okay, the word of the Lord locates Jacobeth. This is not a portion, a portion is the glory. Spiritual operation has happened upon Jacobeth right now. Your darkness, you no more. Go and never return, and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God is with you. Thank Bless you. you. We'll send your testimonies, guys. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Love you, Papa. Love you too. Next Zuma. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Our next Zuma is Matlachonolo. Matlachonolo, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming from. Matlachonolo. God's credence to you, Matlachonolo. God's credence to you. Bless you. Amen. Papa, but you can only confirmation your prophecy. Ah, and again, we have a happy teaching here today because you is you can make like these two days, Papa. The girl was missing away. The lawyer moved him, Papa, because I did something wrong, Papa. I don't know what came. But we honor our sister, uh, Mary. It came to my mind, I have a dream in today's time. I saw this other, this other man from the cult church that I was attending before. I don't know what he was doing. I saw him in another room. So it's, it's like I was with him. I didn't understand. But when I wake up, I feel my private part some up. I feel in private part somehow. And then about it? confirmation of... No, I don't see this one. It's over, it's I don't gone. See this one. It's over, it's gone. Amen. It will never come. Amen. Thank you, Papa. And the confirmation of, of a prophecy is about the one with the stomach and allergy, Papa, with the allergy, Papa, with the daughter. Because I, I manifested when you see the prophecy, Papa. Mother daughter allergy. Papa. Mother daughter allergy. Yes, Papa. I manifested and I, I vomited something back out. And how how are you feeling since then? Okay, after when I vomited, I feel like there's a weight in my room. Yeah, after don't that, worry. Papa. It all goes, it all departs. That's for you and the daughter. 
That's for you and the daughter. This is not your portion. Your portion is the glory. This is the light, the light that shines on you. What's happening in the womb now, Chad? It's the light that shines. Spirit of worship is taking place. The hand of the Lord is in you, grabbing every stranger out. There's Jesus Christ finishing. There's my King. Loving oh. to watch him. Loving to look at him. I... Loving to look at him finishing. No, no, no. Bye bye. Uh, There's Jesus. Yo. Who can say no when Jesus says yes? No one says no. There's he grabs everything. The hand of the Lord is in grabbing everything. Thank you, Jesus. Look at him. Yo. Look at Jesus Christ. Look at my king. Finish everything, Papa. Papa, my father. My father. My father. Please don't do this to her. Please don't. Father. 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 It's, it's hallowed be the name of my father. Hallowed. She's gonna be dangerous, this one. We don't want her to pray. She's a princess. No, 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 no. She will never pray. No, Lizzie. We want to mislead her. We want to take her ministry. We want to take everything that belongs to her. Yo. Bye -bye. Never, ever, Papa. Ever, ever, ever. Papa, you hear what they sing about your plan, Papa? Hey. Did you hear what they say about no. your plan? No. This ministry must die. This is this my father's plan. Must die. This is my must father's die. plan. My father's plan. Must die. My father's this plan. Must die. My father's this plan. Must die. Papa. This ministry must die. Papa. She won't be a prophet. She won't be a prophet. She won't be a prophet. We Thank want you to destroy her. Thank you, my father. Ah. Thank you, my father. She won't be a prophet. No, 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 no. Don't open. Don't Thank open. You, my Thank you, Don't my open. Father. Don't open. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my Papa, thank you. Papa, thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You'll write your testimonies now. 